If you or a loved one is suffering from sickle cell disease, you may have heard of a medication called Oxbrita 500 mg tablet. This medication is specifically designed to treat sickle cell disease by targeting the abnormal protein, hemoglobin S, which makes the red blood cells stiff and irregularly shaped. By decreasing the hemoglobin S, Oxbrita can help alleviate symptoms such as tiredness, shortness of breath, and painful attacks known as sickle cell crisis. The recommended daily dosage of Oxbrita is typically 1,500 mg taken once daily, and it is best to take it at the same time each day. This medication has been shown to be effective in reducing the impact of sickle cell disease and improving overall quality of life for those affected. Before you start taking Oxbrita 500 mg tablet sickle hemoglobin, HBS, polymerization inhibitor, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. The dosage is based on your medical condition, response to treatment, and other medications you may be taking. Make sure to tell your doctor and pharmacist about all the products you use. This medication comes in two different tablet forms which are not taken the same way. Make sure to receive the correct form each time to avoid taking the wrong form. Swallow the tablets whole and do not cut, crush, or chew them. Use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it, and take it at the same time each day to help you remember. If your symptoms do not get better or if they get worse, make sure to tell your doctor. Some common side effects of Oxbrita 500 mg tablet may include headache, diarrhea, nausea, stomach-slash-abdominal pain, or fever. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. While it's rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. Seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as fever, swollen lymph nodes, rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed, it's best to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Keep in mind that the best time to take this medication and the optimal dosage will be determined by your doctor, based on your specific condition. Always follow your doctor's instructions carefully to ensure the medication is most effective for you. Before starting Oxbrita 500mg tablet, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other issues. It's important to discuss this with your pharmacist for more details. Also, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have liver problems. If you are planning to have surgery, let your doctor or dentist know about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is not known if this medication passes into breast milk. Due to the potential risk to the infant, it is not recommended to breastfeed during treatment with this medication and for at least two weeks after the last dose. Be sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. This medication is typically taken once daily with or without food. Be sure to take it at the same time each day. When taking Oxbrita 500 mg tablet, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Some medications, such as Elicestrant, may interact with Oxbrita 500 mg tablet. Additionally, other medications can affect the removal of voxelotor from your body, which may impact how voxelotor works. Examples of these medications include azole antifungals, such as fluconazole, ketoconazole, ifavirenz, macrolide antibiotics, such as erythromycin, St. John's wort, and drugs used to treat seizures, such as carbamazepine, phenytoin, among others. It's also important to note that this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false results. Make sure that both lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are taking Oxbrita 500 mg tablet. 
If someone has taken too much oxbrita and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. It's important to remember not to share this medication with anyone else. Make sure to go for regular medical checkups and blood tests while taking Oxbrite a 500 mg tablet to monitor your health. Keep track of all your medical appointments and tests. If you happen to forget a dose, take it as soon as you remember. But if it's close to the time of your next dose, then it's okay to skip the missed one. Just make sure to take your next dose at the regular time. Avoid taking double doses to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store Oxbrite a 500 mg tablet at room temperature and away from light and moisture, but not in the bathroom. Keep it out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed. When it's expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more information on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.